G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. It's a little quick update video about what's been going on. Since I hurt my knee, you'll probably notice I've been doing a few more of the uh, review videos. I've just finished doing one about the Navtail pouch, which you'll probably see in the next week or two going up. The knee. He's doing pretty well actually. I've just walked a section of the Bibbulmun track down to the Ball Creek shelter and back, which has got a bit of an incline and a decline, very similar to where my knee went the other week. And the knee seems to be doing okay. It's not 100%, I can feel it very slightly, more so on the back because I've been working on the front of my leg to support the knee. But it's looking positive and I'm feeling happy with it. And I was meant to be on the Cape to Cape track uh, as of last night. But it had a fire on it last week, which put a dampers on that. That is very similar, or well, not as bad with the incline and decline. And the first section I was going to do was very little if any beach walking so that's a bugger because that would have been altogether another seven videos uh, of the actual walk showing you the track itself the views uh, do my best to get a bit more of the history of it and these sections of walking through so I can let you know in the videos too but, and it's opened up again, which hopefully will only be in a, another week or two. And I'll see about, start replanning to do that. But I think by then, I'll be back out on the Bill Woman track, heading the rest of the way down to Collie. But I will start using my walking poles again. I think if I'd had them with me last time, my knee, most likely wouldn't have played up or well, it may have played up but it wouldn't have been as bad to make me get picked up so i'll be carrying my poles in future as long as i remember some of the pouches i got to do reviews on soon how oh, first of all is oh this sit pad uh, sometimes i carry the a Helenox chair zero. My brain went blank then. Uh, other times I'll carry the Thermo Z seat or Z pad and Helicon Techs have got one called the Ragabon which actually fits perfect in the internal pocket of the Bergen here. I have been using it for the last couple of weeks. Uh, you can tell a difference with using it and not. So I'll be doing a just a basic review of that and how that can be stored whilst you're hiking or walking or going to do some bushcraft. Uh, yeah. Plans for the future. I've got at least another 33 days or yeah 33 days, 33 sections of shelter to shelter and also some videos of the towns you'll go through whilst walking the Bilbo track. So there's plenty more bush videos to come out. Uh, my gear 
there'll be a few more of them. I've got four more freeze dried meals to try out when I'm out there. <coughs> so that'll be fun. See if I can have a meal and enjoy it. Or have a meal and pull faces all the way through it. Okay, I hope you're all okay. And I wish you all the best and you're keeping well and healthy. And if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, go down and subscribe. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.